Welcome back guys, Dr. Ricky in Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you got to see some of the other videos we have up. We had a great ASMR video as well as an amazing video of me reacting to some TikToks. Today, I got another fun one for you. Today, we're gonna to spend some time debunking some medical myths. Now, I know there are a bunch of them out there that you've all heard before, and there's so much misinformation. These are fun. I put together a list of about 10 things. Let's review them and talk about, is it fact or is it cap? All right, let's jump right in. Let's talk about the first, is it fact or is it cap? So a lot of people always ask, do I have a hole in my eye? Can I stick a needle in it? Let's ask Henry, Henry and th see what he says. What do you think, Henry? Do you have a hole in your eye? Yes. Oh, really? You really think you have a hole in your eye? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Guess what, guys? It is fact. You actually do have a hole in your eye and that black part is called the pupil. And the reason that it's a hole is the tissue in the back of your eye, the retina absorbs light and makes it, makes it look black, which makes it look like a deep hole, but it actually is a hole and you can put a needle in it. And usually when they put a needle in there to numb up your eye, it doesn't hurt, you just feel pressure. So that one, my friends, is fact. All right, number two, let's talk about a good one. So. Some people have talked about the fact that there are certain tumors that can be found in the body that have teeth, bone, hair, other parts of the body. Is that fact or is it cap? What do you think? Not talking today? Okay. So this is an interesting one, my friends. In general surgery training, we used to study these all the time. That is actually fact. It's called a teratoma. A teratoma is a small tumor commonly found in the testicles and the ovaries and it can have elements of the other parts of the body. Developmentally, it's a tumor, which means abnormal growth, and you can have teeth, you can have muscle, you can have bone, you can have hair, you can have all kinds of nasty little monsters making it look like a gremlin inside, and so it's actually fact that you can have tumors that have other human parts inside, and they're, they're kinda, kinda nasty looking when you, when you meet one. All right, number three, this is a good one. So it's been said that if you shave the hair on your face, and this, we commonly hear this in women who wanna shave some of the fine hair off their face, that it will grow back thicker, longer, and darker. Is that fact or is it cap? It's cap. All right, listen, when you shave your hair, because I do shave my head and it doesn't grow back thicker and longer, when you shave your hair, you don't mysteriously grow thicker, darker hair. When you cut the edge of the hair off, it actually feels coarse. So some people think that it grows back thicker or more rough when it's actually not true. That is cap. Number four, humans are bioluminescent. What does that mean, bioluminescent? You guys all watched Finding Nemo, I'm sure, right? And you saw the little jellyfish that lit up at nighttime. That's called bioluminescence. So is it fact or is it cap that the human body is bioluminescent, that we actually glow? What do you think? Still not talking? Okay, cool. So I'll let you know. That is actually fact, right? Who knew that? We're lit. So. The body does emit low levels of bioluminescence throughout the day that vary, but it's a thousand times less visible light than the eye can see, so we can't actually see it, but scientists can prove it by doing certain scans to show that we're bioluminescent. So guess what, guys? We're all lit. Number five, this is a good one. I love this one. Eating a big old turkey Thanksgiving dinner makes you tired. Is it fact? Or is it cap? What do you guys think? Fact or cap? It's cap. Here's the myth. Turkey has a high level of tryptophan in it and tryptophan has been you know, basically studied and shown to be part of serotonin and melatonin, both which can regulate your sleep-wake cycle. So the idea that you eat this big old turkey dinner when you're sitting on the couch and that that in turn makes enough melatonin and serotonin to make you tired and drowsy is a bunch of cap. Here's actually what happens. So this has been studied before. Really what happens is when you eat a big meal and your stomach is full of food, 
All that damn blood goes from your brain to your stomach to help digest it. And it's the less levels of blood in the brain that tend to make you feel drowsy because you're using a lot of energy in your digestion. And that is what makes you tired, not tryptophan, it's cap. All right, let's go over the next factor cap number six. The question here is, does sugar make your children hyper? Is it fact or is it cap? What do you guys think? Total cap. So there is no scientific evidence in the literature to support at all that sugar makes your child hyper. So guys, your entire life has been a lie. That is cap. All right, number seven, here we go. Does pulling gray hair, and I've developed a few over the past few years, pulling gray hair, does that make more gray hair grow? Is it fact or is it cap? I would love to hear the answer. I bet you nearly 100% of you guys would say yes, because guess what? That is an old wives tale, it is total cap. Mm. It is not true. Why is it not true? So here's how hair works. You only have one hair follicle per hair. When you pluck that hair, you don't magically sprout a bunch of gray hair surrounding that one follicle. You grow a hair back out of that follicle, if you're lucky to grow one back out of the follicle, and it doesn't turn more gray, so that is cap. All right, number eight. Can fish skin be used to heal burn wounds? Is it fact or is it cap? Now this one's a little tough for me because I did burns in general surgery and in plastic surgery training. And this one's kind of a cap fact. It's a little bit of both. So here's the deal. It absolutely can be used to help with burn wounds. We used to do it in the burn unit. Tilapia skin has a really healthy microbiome. It's got type one collagen, very similar to human skin. So in patients that we would treat for burns, when we ran out of skin to use for burn for, for grass, we basically would place the tilapia skin over a burn that hasn't been grafted with human skin yet. It's called a xenograft when we use non-human skin on the human to help heal the burn. So temporarily it can help heal the burn, but they won't grow skin back underneath there if they don't have any epidermis surrounding to grow over that wound. So that's why it's kind of fat capped. It's a little bit of both. All right, number nine, we're almost there guys. Another good one for you here. So you guys remember this when you were a kid? I totally remember this. And I, I thought that this was true for like a pretty large portion of my life. And that one is you shouldn't go swimming within 30 minutes after eating because you will drown. Is it fat or is it cap? Well, I kind of revealed it already. That is total cap. So here's the deal. The old wife's tale used to be because you ate a heavy meal and you went to swim within 30 minutes with all the blood in the stomach to digest, it could cause cramps. And then in turn, you would drown. And it's actually a bunch of crap. It's cap. It doesn't happen that way. So that one's cap. All right, we have arrived at number 10, good old Diaz. Okay, cracking your knuckles will cause arthritis. Is it fact or is it cap? What do you think? That one is cap. Here's the deal. What happens is nitrogen bubbles get pulled into the space where the knuckles are. And when you crack your knuckles, it does not cause arthritis. It's total cap. I don't have arthritis. Insert crack. And my knuckles are perfectly fine. So that one, my friends, is total cap, crack away. All right, my friends, that concludes our first Factor Cap video. Thank you so much for watching it. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe on all of my YouTube videos. If you wanna submit ideas for us to do in the future, use this email right here. Follow us on all of our different social media channels. I have two for Instagram. Number one, DR Richard J. Brown. Our business page is Brown Plastic Surgery. And then of course, please follow me on TikTok at the Real TikTok Doc. That concludes the end of episode number one. Dr. Brown, out.